Hey everyone, it's Chris back again with a quick games pickup update. So let's switch over right away and show you what I got. See you in a second. Alright, let's get this started. I guess I'm going to go from newest games to oldest. So I've got quite a few here. Let's get this started. First up, I picked this up on sale at Gamefly, I believe for $10. That is Battlefield Hardline. This is the cops and robbers version of Battlefield. Um, I got it just because it was $10 and I think they released some of the DLC for free recently. So I'm hoping to get a little bit of playtime out of it. I tried some of the single player and it was kind of cool, but uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't have bought this normally if it wasn't so cheap. So there's number one. Then next up we got two more bro -y shooters. And the first one is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I actually found this at Goodwill for, I believe, $20. So not the best price, but not the worst price either. And this was sealed. Um, it's pretty cool, though. I've, you know, stepped away from the Call of Duty franchise ever since Modern Warfare 2 came out. And this one's still pretty cool. Um, I think the new one, uh, Infinite Warfare... I think that looks fairly decent, but Call of Duty sure is getting weird now with the direction it's taken. And then here's another one I got super cheap on sale at Amazon for $13. That's the Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, what is this called, Hardened Edition. And this game is definitely pretty rough. You can tell it was rushed. But uh got it for $13 for this collector's edition, so that's kind of cool, I suppose. Um, okay, next up, we have two more cheap games, sort of cheap. First one is Assassin's Creed Unity, and I believe I got this for like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. And it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I'm definitely glad I waited... Uh, as long as I did to pick it up and then after I beat this I was like okay I need a little bit more so I picked up Syndicate not the greatest price I believe it was like 25 30 bucks so yeah um, this is huge improvement over Unity though runs so much better looks better 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 gameplay features all that shit this is what Unity should have been so yeah and then, got these games. First up, we have Resident Evil Origins Collection. And this has Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 Remake on one Blu-ray. And uh, I'm definitely glad they released these on a physical copy. Um, yeah, they're just amazing ports. Very well done. Very few issues with these. So, yep. So, let's go ahead and move Call of Duty down a bit. <laughs> Put that there. And then next up, we have this one. Resident Evil 6, the PS4 version, was this called? I guess it's not called Remastered or anything. It's just Resident Evil 6 for PS4. And yeah, it's a 1080p, 60 frames per second version of the game. And I'm glad it's on a disc rather than having to get the digital PC version. So yeah, and I'm definitely going to be getting uh, Resident Evil 5 Remaster in July. Um, these were really cheap too. This this is $20 and Resident Evil 5 is going to be $20. But with Amazon you get it for about $16, at least in my state. So yeah, there's that. Okay, next up, one that you've seen plenty of gameplay from me already. And that is Dark Souls 3. I just got the day one edition. I thought about getting the collector's edition, but then it's like, well, I'm mainly concerned about the game, so I just picked that up. So let's go ahead and pop that right there. There we go. And then, of course, I picked this up, which honestly I think is a bit overrated. Uncharted 4. And I got the. Uh, forget what edition this is called. I guess just the special edition with a steel book and art book. 
I guess I'll pop it open and show you what that looks like since I didn't do an unboxing. But uh, kind of has a cool little inside box that pops open like that. And you have the steel book and uh, the art book, which is really kind of jammed in there. But there you go. It's the art book. Kind of see the insides. So yeah, I didn't really do an unboxing because it's such a simple collector's edition. There you go, there's my mini unboxing of that. And inside here, you got some Naughty Dog stickers. And then the game itself and some multiplayer points, which who knows if I'll ever even play the multiplayer because I don't care about it at all. I can hardly bring myself to finish the single player, to be honest. It's just I'm just sick of Uncharted at this point. One kind of annoying thing, though, with this is I got it from Amazon. You can see the top banner is all, like, scuffed up. Thanks, Amazon. Good shipping job there. So, yeah. Okay, next up, we have another PS4 game. And this is a bit more special. This was a limited run game, physical release. That's literally what the company is called. And they did a physical release of the then digital only Oddworld New and Tasty. And I was always disappointed because I was really looking forward to this. I loved the original Oddworld. And then they did it digital only. But then I found out these guys, Limited Run Games, were doing a limited run. And uh, this PS4 version is limited to 5,000 copies worldwide. So this is pretty rare. Um, there's the inside, just the disc. You can see the disc uh, doesn't even have the, the title on it, which is kind of weird, I thought. And then just this pointless sheet of paper, pretty much. But yeah, it's nice to have this as a physical copy. I'm hoping the Abe's Exodus remake gets the same physical treatment. Here's hoping. And then I also got this one, which is even more limited. The same game on PlayStation Vita. And this one was limited to 2,500 copies. So this sold out in, I believe, less than five minutes. So I was just refresh spamming the page. But yeah, I got it. It's good to have Vita games on a physical cart because the memory cards on Vita are so small. So yeah, we'll just set that right there. Okay, next up we got a Wii U game, which I was really looking forward to. That is Star Fox Zero, and I got the pack that includes both uh, Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard. So you can kind of see they're both in there. I'll go ahead and show you what both cover arts look like. There you go. There's Star Fox Guard. I'm not sure how long they're going to bundle these two games together because I know they sell Star Fox Guard on its own on the, the, the Wii U digital store. But yeah, um, a lot of mixed reviews with this game, but in my opinion it's, you know, 8 out of 10, about maybe 8.5. It's really good. It's got a few issues, but honestly, the controls are good. That's the main complaint, but in my opinion, they're good controls. Um, they make the aiming more accurate, and they give you more control over moving and aiming. That's my opinion. Um, I beat the game no problem. I've been playing through it again, getting all the challenges, and I'm not having any issues. They're, the kind of issues I had with the game was more like... Kind of the mission structure, uh, it's a lot of all range battles rather than rail shooting and uh, there's some parts where they lock the camera angle to lock onto the enemy and you can't change that. I don't really like that. Um, can't think of the other um, the uh, downsides of the game, but it's not that bad. It's it's not it's no Star Fox 64 or Star Fox 1, but it's up there. Better than Star Fox Assault or Star Fox Command or Star Fox Adventure, in my opinion. 
Okay, now we're going back a generation to 360. First game. I believe I just picked this up used at GameStop because the PC version of this, which I own, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, um, it has really shoddy uh, controller support. I know everyone plays these kind of games on mouse and keyboard, but I'm more comfortable playing them on a controller. So I wanted a version that's both a physical copy and has, you know, decent gamepad controls. So yeah, I picked this up. And it was really cheap. I believe this is like $3 used. But it's a pretty cool game. It's got some nice stealth elements to it and squad based gameplay. And then I found this at my local Goodwill, new and sealed, for... I think I got this for $3, and that is Splinter Cell Blacklist on 360. Now this I have on PC as well, and it looks and runs way better on PC. And unlike, uh, you know, Future Soldier, the PC version of Blacklist does have really good controller support, and it runs really nice, so... This was more just me getting it to have a physical copy and because it was at, you know, Goodwill for $3 and they had a whole stack of these so I grabbed one. So that's cool. Okay. Now, next up, I guess we will go back another generation to Xbox Original. And that is... This game, the original Ghost Recon. So yeah, now I have this and Island Thunder. I believe the only other one I need now is Ghost Recon 2 on Xbox and its expansion. But yeah, this was I think $3 at Goodwill. And yeah, it was complete. Uh, I think the disc is, yeah, it's, it's fairly good condition. A couple of light scratches, but yeah, I'm trying to get all the Tom Clancy games I can. So I'm going to try to get Ghost Recon 2 and its expansion fairly soon here. So that's that. Alright, next up, going back two more generations, I believe. Yes, or er, yeah, two, two earlier generations to Super Nintendo. I finally picked this up, Star Fox, the original due to my hype for this one, Zero. Um, I do own a cart-only copy of this and a manual that's missing the front cover. But I always wanted this game complete because this was always one of my favorite SNES games. I've talked about it a lot of times. Um, so yeah, I, I got it complete and it's got the manual. I don't think it has the advertising inserts, but I usually don't care too much about those. Just the box, manual, and game. So yeah, a really nice condition box, as you can see. This game isn't too expensive. I think it was like $30 or $40. But yeah, cool to have that, finally. Set that there. Alright, now we're going to do a couple handheld games. We're getting closer to the end here. So... I guess we'll start with a newer handheld game, this one, Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. This is basically another um, Mario RPG type of game, but it, it combines Paper Mario with the Mario & Luigi series. And it's really well done. I haven't beaten it, but I've gotten pretty far, and yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I'm hoping that Paper Mario on Wii U, uh, Color Splash I think it's called, I hope that's good, but they haven't shown a whole lot to that game yet. But here's hoping it's good. But yeah. And then I got this game on sale for, I believe, $10 on Amazon a couple days ago. And that is The World Ends With You. And it's thundering right now. I don't know if you guys heard that. But yeah, I got The World Ends With You for $10. I've been meaning to get this game for a while. Um, it's kind of an action RPG, kind of an urban um, Japanese setting. Uh, but the only thing I don't like is the battles are controlled with the touch screen and I mean it's doable but it just seems completely unnecessary so I'm kinda glad I got it cheap because I don't like it that much but I do like to collect Square Enix games so yeah there's that and then here's one I found at Goodwill another handheld game 
And that is Wipeout Pulse. And I believe this was three or four dollars. But yeah, I believe this is my first Wipeout game I've ever owned, even though I played them a lot back in the day. But yeah, it's kind of weird that my first actual Wipeout game that I've owned is a PSP version. <laughs> but I played it a little bit and it seems pretty cool. So yeah, cool little pickup there in my opinion. So let's just set that right there. Okay, and now the, for the last couple items, I just have some accessory type items. So first I'll start with this. Nothing too special, but uh, found a, again at Goodwill. It's uh, one of the white PS1 Slim controllers. It was just called PS1 as in, you know, O-N-E-1. So, yeah, I have a PS1. I have the box for it and one controller, so it's cool to get a second controller so I have a complete set. So, yeah, there's that. And next up a bunch of these things which I showed in an earlier video of my attempt to open them without damaging the packaging too much and that is some amiibos so I got the link one for uh, Twilight Princess HD and you can see I've opened the bottom so I can still display them so there's that and then I got this one because I wanted to unlock the hard mode using the Ganondorf amiibo and again I've opened it and that's for Twilight Princess if you scan him you get the harder mode where you lose more hearts per hit I believe double double the amount of health loss and then I got this guy Falco because originally I had thought that you needed Falco and Fox McCloud to unlock the uh, the extras in Star Fox Zero here, but it turns out you can unlock them anyways just by you know getting all the medals in the game. But that that is actually kind of time consuming. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. So I did get some use out of these two. So anyways, that is it. That's a lot of pickups for the last. I don't know when my last video was, maybe six months ago, but hope you guys enjoy this type of content, and give me a like if you did, and if you this is your first time visiting the channel, as usual, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, and comment below, uh, let me know any suggestions for future videos, I'm open to any ideas, but anyways guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video, peace out.